How's it going, boys? And 3.5%. What a great day it is. But what if I told you I can make it even better? And just from a glance, you can probably tell that, yeah, this is going to be absolutely fun. We have Farewell, we have White Sun's Twilight, we have Depopulate, we have a little bit of Dead Pyrexian Portal, and obviously, Chimmel. Oh yes, this is going to be absolutely great. A little bit of Rebel Rousing and a Virtue of Loyalty, perpetually getting stronger creatures every turn. From the graveyard, just creating them out of thin air, it is truly beautiful, is it not? And even a decent amount of early game aggression, like things with Farm Hand, the Spirited Companion, and Reinforcement Mommy, that's right. And why not throw in a little bit of that a good, a good old wedding announcement, because three wedding announcements in a row can pretty much win against almost any control deck. It's very balanced, as you can probably imagine, and a Lunark veteran for those pesky pesky aggro players. Yes, this works like a charm, it truly does, and you probably already can feel it. 24 lands to be specific, 3.4 average mana cost, and with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a crack and see what happens. Going second, but we do have a Lunark Veteran and a Farm Hand right there off the top, which is ki kinda really good. And we do have a decent amount of removal, which is also really, really good. I feel great things happening here, boys. I really feel some... Great things are still gonna happen, unless he takes the Farm Hand. But, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, I'm fine with this, I'm fine with this. A little bit of damage never hurt anyone. Ooh, getting those lands even, I like this. Oh yeah, let's drop the farm hand, and then if we get the wedding announcement, it's actually gonna be super big. Okay, four lands, farewell's almost castable. Ha ha ha, yeah, I see how it is. Also, if he attacks with... Ooh. Well, you know what doesn't trigger uh, Vran? Exile, exactly. Also, he's afraid to attack. Wow, my dude. Seriously. If you're gonna be afraid to attack me like that, I mean, <laughs> good luck in the future. So, we just need two more lands and we can farewell and win through pure, unadulterated skill, as everyone knows. Ah, oh, farewell, what a great card. <laughs> Oh, wizards! No, seriously, ban farewell. I, I, every video I use farewell, I just, I just have to comment on how absolutely forsakenly overpowered this card is, and how it should not be in the game. Why do I have to do this, wizards, constantly? Also, I think I need to get rid of my tracks. Otherwise, he's gonna use my tracks and then uh, braid, which is gonna be really annoying. Five lands, boys. We're, we're kind of close. Should I actually feel the throwing now? No, 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 no. Let's not do it. We can also draw another farm hand. It's not bad. And he kind of needs to push at this point because next stick is the full wedding announcement. And a uh, situation where I stall versus he stalls and, you know, we're kind of playing tit-pat, pity-pat is not going to be great. Hmm, that's a choice. <laughs> okay <laughs> this is great oh yeah he's probably looking at this and thinking of himself yeah this is not exactly going according to plan arguably this is this is completely not going to plan i wonder though does he sack anything he could sack this but then again sacrifice this creature draw card is the same as sacking so maybe there's no point but what else does he sack? That's the uh, that's the thing. I have made multiple braid decks, and I have made multiple braid plus Vran decks. You can't really use cards like... Uh... I mean, he kind of has a ch point there, but I'm going to do this because, you know, value. I mean, I I'm not going to have value from these human tokens anyway, so might as well on... Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Yeah, I'm probably gonna attack because honestly, why should I wait at this point? I can just exile and it's probably fine. Or maybe I can actually cast Seat of the Empire to, uh, to put him in a worse position. 
Ah, probably not necessary, honestly. Probably not necessary. Okay, so let's draw the card. I want to draw the card before Shrill. Oh my. Oh my. Now this is kind of, this is kind of, this is kind of doing good stuff, you know, not gonna lie. Okay, he does that. It's, it's, it's okay. And I'm gonna instantaneously do this. There's no point for me waiting here, honestly. Might as well thin out my deck now, because we have also a Chimil. Oh no. Oh no, Dreadlord Therion. What a name, by the way. What an absolute Giga Chad name. He's using the, uh, Gix sleeves. And he's using a Shreldred avatar. Oof. And he's using the Petrock. Yeah, makes perfect sense, honestly. The Petrock is probably the second best pet in the game. Obviously, only followed by Cat on Purple. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's attacking with everything. Wait. What happens if I just... Uh, YOLO block... No, 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 no. I need to block every single one. Okay. Let's do it like this. Because I don't care about this. I think he know. I think he understands that there's a farewell coming, so he's trying to, you know, pump up as much as possible. <laughs> oh no! But if he sacks the bat, I can actually drop the chimil. And then he's kinda boned anyway. Well no well no, yeah, I can drop it. Okay, so uh the thing is now here, uh what you gonna do? Because yeah, I, I thought so. So now the trick is pretty much like this. He tried to outplay us by creating value, so I can't cast Farewell, but they never expect the Chimel, boys. They never expect the sweet, sweet power of the Chimel. Oh, another one. Yes, yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. Works like a charm, boys. Works like a charm. So now let's see what he does. The board is free. I'm still on high HP. And he knows that I have two farewells. Which is arguably the literal worst situation you can ever be in life. Because this sucks. <laughs> For him at least. For me it's amazing. I love every second of it, boys. Not gonna lie. Uh, let's see. Not gonna cast that, obviously. Should I play one Lunar Veteran just for the memes? Just for the boys? Yeah, I think I will. No real point in using them, honestly, but eh, might as well. Might as well. Ooh, Infernal Grasp. That's not a card you want to play. Even when Infernal Grasp was the best removal mono, uh, mono Black had, it was still kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie, boys. It was still kind of like low-tier garbage dumpster fire. And there we have. A spirited companion why not why not okay let's see what he does now there is a slight problem that he could uh, theoretically gather evidence with deadly cover-up and then it would be slightly annoying but honestly I don't think that's a big deal hmm that's a play and a half Ooh. okay that's a little bit dangerous Is there a chance that this guy is everyone's favorite classic, yet fantastic? Oh, and that, oh, he does have Gerard. Nice. That's, that's a good card to have. That is definitely... Uh, Gerard is definitely epic there when it comes to a bunch of these combos. So what do I want to do here? I can just attack with this. Now I'm going to cast this yet because... Well, we can get it above 5, but I don't think that's value. So, what do I do? Do I even want to attack? Hmm. I have a feeling we just leave it as it is. Let's see what Chimil gets. Again, at this point, we don't need to rush. We have enough HP. Sure, why not? YOLO 3, 4... Uh, oh, let's, uh, let's YOLO this up a little bit. It's not a bad thing anyway. We're gonna get some life. We can now my tracks. There's absolutely no problems. And we still... Ah. <sighs> You see what I mean when I say Farewell is overpowered? He doesn't want to use Farewell, because anything he uses, uh, anything uh, meaningful that he drops, he just knows I instantaneously Farewell. And in the meantime, I'm just creating my Trex tokens, I have betting announcement, I'm getting free Chimel value. It's just, it's just unfair at the most basic level of existence. It really is, isn't it? 
Imagine the desperation this guy has. He he probably is. Oh, I actually shouldn't have attacked with two things. Depopulate in the hand. Yeah, let's just make it even more uh, known to him that bad things are happening. Now, the only problem is I can technically deck myself pretty easily if I'm not being a little bit cautious. A little bit about the spirited companion plays and whatnot. But chances that that happens are, like, kind of minuscule, so, you know, not exactly the biggest worry of the galaxy. And now we can follow up with even a bigger heresy. I mean, honestly, this deck is just a bunch of bot crimes at this point. Combined into one one giant piece of destruction. And all of that is great. I mean, every dude, every time we play Mono White, it's, 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 a, it, it's just an experience, okay, boys? It truly is, at the end of the day, just, a, just an experience. Look at this. He, he needs to deal with the fact that we're constantly using uh, Mitrex to summon things. We get free... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, our boy's doing stuff. Wait, didn't he have... Do I wanna... How do I wanna deal with this? Hmm. Good question. Let's uh, let's summon a Betty boy. I, wa I wanna see what, what he has cooking there. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot indeed. Uh, but you... This is how much damage. This is a damage. That's a little bit too much damage. But you know what doesn't care about this damage? Oh, actually, no, 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 wait. I, I can easily attack first. Uh, I, I, I don't care too much about, you know, like, uh, two damage. That's completely fine. Two damage, completely legit. No one cares. Okay, so, uh, yeah, now we're gonna fare well. Because, again, I can just exile all creatures. I don't even need to hit the graveyards. I don't need to do any of that good stuff, boys. Oh, man, the absolute unfairness of the world is just great in these situations. Another depopulate wizards. You're completely wrecking this guy's everything, honestly. Look at this. So many depopulates. This is not... This, this should be illegal. Poor Dreadlord Terion. I almost feel for you. I don't. But close enough. I mean, if you said hello and I would know that you're my viewer, I would maybe concede because, you know, I'm just... You know, I'm a good guy at the end of the day. Uh, let's bat it up again because, you know, why not? Again, what is he gonna do against these bats? Nothing. Ooh, that's annoying. Yeah, I'm gonna ditch that probably. Another Chimmel. Not really too useful, but then again, not also bad. And remember, at the end of the day, I can always one sight uh, White Sun's Twilight for 12. Can I actually do it? Um, I'm one mana off, sadly. And then it's also good game. <laughs> oh man, some things just should not be allowed. And by the way, he's in this situation because he tried to be a good player and play around the concept of farewell like this is the power of farewell i didn't even cast it but i pretty much just won the game right there on the spot because he was forced to play around oh big finally because he was just forced to play around the existence of farewell the the our boy didn't didn't even have a choice honestly here it's not even his fault he's having a bad time Unironically, not even his fault. It's just... Farewell in the hand, and what are you gonna do about it? Hilarious, I know. And now he scoops. Good game. Opponent goes first, but we do have a pretty solid... Uh, and this is... Okay, boys, at this point, f five out of seven games currently are against... Boros. Yeah, I'm not sure if the RNG is hitting me right currently, wizards. I'm I'm confused. <laughs> oh, wait, no, Boros with extra steps? I'll take it. I'll, 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 I'll honestly take it. Unless he drops a uh, forge on us at, on, you know, turn three, which would be horrible. <laughs> Hopefully that does not happen. That was not actually funny. Okay, let's see how it goes, though. Boros with extra steps, gonna be fun. Or maybe this is some kind of strange vampire life gain build. No, no, this is definitely Boros with extra steps. 
What a time to be alive. Okay, the good part is... I mean, we're gonna have a pretty solid board, and we can wipe if we feel like it. Okay, let's see what he does. Another one of these. Yeah, that's not impressive, honestly. Okay, we are taking a lot of damage, which is not good at all. But if he does nothing here, maybe it's gonna be good enough. Hmm. I wonder how this... Okay. Uh, yeah, guess who's vratting? Uh, yeah, that's right, it's me. <laughs> Definitely vratting. We have good plays later and we can heal with Light Sun's Twilight. So it's not gonna be a lost cause for show. So, let's... Ooh, that's actually also pretty solid. I think we start with the loyalty to bump up single, uh, to bump up these creatures. Three trees, he's not gonna be able to pass that easily. Okay, questions? Uh, and another one, yes, why not? <laughs> that seems about right and balanced that, you know, you drop a one, a one drop and it does 50 trillion quadrillion damages. Wait, actually I could kind of set up the board a little bit harder here. Hmm. Now there is obviously an argument to be made to keep the get lost and maybe destroy the warlords, but I think I need to play a little bit greedy because we're not exactly in a situation where we're gonna, we're gonna just flat out lose, right? And the board state is definitely our advantage. Unless he does exactly what he's doing now, sacrifice- oh no! Huh. If he sacrifices a blood token and I get uh, dealt 50 trillion damage, arguably not great. But, you know, it, it, it's fine, it's fine. Do you think he buffs this with something? No, good, good, good. So what exactly is happening here? Um... Man, that take damage is so big though, I don't like it, I don't like it, boys. I mean, I need to do it like this now. Okay, this is gonna give us a severe advantage, but at the same time, man. <laughs> definitely could be a little bit better. But if he doesn't pull out a miracle at this point... Also, wizards, you kinda need to order the triggers in the right order again. Dude, how is wizards not triggering, uh, ordering triggers in the right order nowadays? How is that actually unironically a thing? They're constantly messing it up. I, I, I just... I just don't even understand. Anyway, do it like this. I want to keep this because of Vigilance, even though it doesn't make sense, but the, the difference in blocks is who cares. You know, you're losing one, uh, one creature no matter what, and now I'm definitely doing this instantaneously, boys, okay? Not even questioning it. Bam. Destroy it, spray it, don't pray it. And now we can actually gain a little bit of life if we feel like it with White, uh, White Sun's Twilight. Good! And no, seriously, I have been playing against Boros or some kind of crappy Warlord's Call Offshoots of Boros pretty much all day. Something is not right in the universe. Now the good part is, yeah, good, good luck actually dealing with this uh, knight at this point. But the bad part is, I'm not exactly too... Oh! Oh, he, he dealt with it. He just, he just did the thing and it like went beep. Not good. Well, we still have the board advantage. Ooh, weakness. I can feel it. Ah, oh, he got a land. He can't even do what he wanted to do. Oh, no. So sad. Oh, he's still attacking? Yo, my dude. That's Desperation 101. Oof. And he just concedes. Amazing. Going second, J Salvatar, two Pyrexian portals, clearly, clearly without any shadow of a doubt. Boros Convoke, and his name is Shampoo, which kind of feels like a personal attack for some reason. Uh, but, you know, we're gonna win, because this is just too hard to lose with. Well, depends. Well, actually, no, he hasn't dropped anything on turn two. Sus. Oh, he's Boros Convoke with extra steps. That feels slightly a lot redundant, not gonna lie. But if he has counter spells, I mean, Chinel kind of fully deals with that. Okay. And we do have Flash on the reinforcement mommy, so it's good. 
Also, I have been. Uh, it has been brought to my attention, boyos, that you do not know that there is a second channel with other things that are. <gasps> night, night, night thingy. Oh, it's here. Ah, huh? ah, huh? huh? Come, come here, little boy. Ah, come here, come here. Ah, 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 ah. Stay, stay, stay. It's a night. It's a it's a night. You pe you people call it moth. It's not actually a moth. It's it's a it's a it's a night butterfly. These are called night butterflies. Ah, I can't find it. Oh, it's there. It's 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 there. Oh oh. Okay okay. It's gonna it's gonna start relaxing and I'm gonna show it to you. Anyway, we have magic to play. I'm 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 pretty pretty sure we got magic to play. But also again. Uh, there's a second. Oh, you cute little Bucci Bucci. Anyway, there's also a second channel where we do non magic things, aka fun things. So, you know, well, magic is fun if we're playing mono white and being a complete nuisance to society. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, there is a. Look at this, by the way. Is this legal? Yeah, it should not be probably re legal, right? But in any case, again, boyos, boyos. No interaction? What the hell, Jay Salvatore? Are you just gonna wipe me with suns uh, sunset? Sun's fall. I'm assuming yes. T-Popolite, I smell weakness. Anyway. Ooh, another fun hand. That's actually good. Come on, stay, relax so I can show you to people. Because if I try to actually take it by... You don't take butterflies by the wings because then they cannot fly. Uh, because you squish the pollen or whatever it is on uh, the wings and yeah, they can't fly So never take butterflies by the wings by the way boys, you know, j j just tips for you know being a decent part of society in any case um, Something something second channel. I said that yeah, my attention is kind of on uh, the night butterfly you people call it moths no, not not everything that looks like a moth and flies in the night is a moth. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, where did he go? Yeah. Lost him. Okay, well, he's under the desk, I'm assuming. Well, good. Also, what the hell is my enemy doing? Oh! He's being extra autistic. Nice! Okay, when do you lose hexproof, by the way? Now? Dude, seriously, when do you... Wait, we already played against one of these disaster areas. Oh my lord, this card is so stupid. Okay, when do you lose hexproof? Because this loses hexproof at some point, right? Or not, I'm... <sighs> what a dumb card. What a literal idiot card. Anyway, idiot card or not, if you can't counterspell this chimmel, we're winning hard. I'm assuming he can, because... Okay! I like it. Uh, give me something big. Okay, give me something big. Uh-huh, very, very funny wizards. Anyway, we do have also this, which means, you know, we're gonna be able to do stuff. So hopefully he can't get rid of Chimmel, but again, anyone who uses this card unironically, yeah. <laughs> it technically is a win condition, uh, but, you know, also also using uh, something that resets your deck and, uh, and, and two sparks is th the same equivalent good win condition as this thing. Yeah, it's not great. As long as it's it entered battlefield this turn. Oh, that's so dumb. That's so dumb. And I think he has a way to deal with Chimmel, because it looks like he's looking at Chimmel, which is bad. Now, I would definitely not put it past Wizards to give Memory Diluge. Why? Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, this is fine. We have Pyrexian Portal, boys. As long as he doesn't get the graveyard, we're, we're kind of in it to win it. Okay, this is a frustratingly uh, a frustrating amount of questionable things. Do I want to proc the hidden courtyard? Probably not, honestly, at this point. The hidden courtyards are there, not because they're really necessary, but because 
they can be useful in some extreme situations. Don't 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 see the night butterfly anywhere on, on, anymore. Well, whatever I guess. Oh, he even has the spire. Wow, that's kind of rare. Okay, yeah, hex proof hex. Dude, what? This is the second time I see a deck like this. Like, someone needs to explain to me what exactly is the play here. What do they do? Because every time I play against this, uh, they do nothing, I do nothing, they start dropping this, I never get a card to, to play and they just win by doing nothing essentially. So I'm never sure what's the actual win condition of this thing. So can someone please explain? I'm so lost honestly on this one. Oh man, bro, this is, this is, oh, 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 wait, 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 what? Yo, what do you mean you didn't get rid of it? Why? I'm so confused. Free real estate, I guess? Yeah, you see what I mean? He has played nothing. There's a memory deluge. There's a depopulate, which are good cards, by the way. So, you know, it'd be what it is. I'm going to create this because I want to see if he actually has... Uh... If he actually has uh, the pure card of skill. Because I think he does. And then I at least want to save a virtue of loyalty. Uh, because this is already enough damage for uh, just to force him essentially to act. So I don't, just don't, I don't want to lose virtue of loyalty for no reason. Yeah, see? There we go. Completely annoying. Anyway. Wait, he didn't exile graveyards? What do you mean, dude? Huh? Why would you not exile graveyards? Probably shouldn't start. Well, no, he's always gonna save the counter spell for virtue of. Oh, dissipate. Okay, okay, chief, I see how it is. Uh, might as well play the Lunar Quetra. So, what's the win condition, I wonder here? He's. So, I mean, he's playing Farewell, which means this is undoubtedly a double S tier deck. But, I'm confused. What's the win condition? Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely a card. Okay, uh, let's see what he does. Oh, another one. Another one. Okay. I wonder... Well, I'm definitely blocking because... You know, reasons. But he has only one mon. Do you think he's taking it back? Also, why wouldn't he exile graveyards, though? I think that's a reasonable question to ask. Why would you not exile grave? Oh. Well, sheer boy. Hey. Hey. It happens. Yeah, now he just looked at Pyrexian Arena and he's like, Pyrexian Arena! Actually, it's not Pyrexian Arena, it's Portal to Pyrexia. Pyrexian Arena is almost the same thing, but does completely different things. You know, effectively it's completely not the same thing, but it's kind of close because it has the word Pyrexia in it, so, you know. In any case, let's see what he does now. Uh, Giga plays, you know. We only need to survive three more farewells, they... <laughs> okay, Chief. Okay, Chief. Like, listen. You need a hobby. <laughs> Probably. I'm assuming a hobby would be, like, really, really good here. Okay, what do I do now? Do I? Hmm. I mean, I could... No, he probably has four farewells and four depopulates, so just using White Sun's Twilight is not really effective here now, is it? Do I risk it for... Yeah, let's, let's do it. I mean, if he has a counter spell, I'm kind of boned anyway. Here, because I can't deal with the Chandra. So, I mean, I might as well try and put pressure. And yeah, he has obviously a counter spell because why wouldn't he? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Dude! I love losing against the worst decks in the history of the game. It just makes my. It just makes me feel warm inside. You know? It just, it just really, it just really tells you a story or something. Not sure. 
Okay, mem double memory dilution, uh, which does nothing, by the way, because Chandra copies the card, and since you play a paid zero mana for it, the memory dilution doesn't do anything. So, uh, 10 out of 10 on that one. Well, I mean, he doesn't actually have a better play, so he might as well, right? In any case, let's do this now. If you have a third uh, dissipate, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna be relatively upset. Relatively. Lightning Helix. Okay, well, actually, I see, the, well, with Lightning Helix, the win condition at least becomes more reasonable-ish. Still kind of long shot, still absolutely redundant, but hey... At least it's something. And at this rate, I'm definitely gonna have to wait since Twilight. Ooh, fun hand, big. Not actually, but you know, we can't really get too many things with this. And kinda, you know, doing something like this is not even that bad. He probably doesn't want to use attack lands. Just because we have a field of ruin, which is good. Kinda good. He could theoretically just... I mean, as I say that, obviously things change. <laughs> Whoa. Um, I don't remember what you're supposed to do. You, you just have first strike, right? That's your whole gimmick shimmick. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, stuff just happened, and uh, bam. Best play I can do. Pretty sad, but you know, we're, 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 we're getting there. We can always threaten lethal with once, uh, White Sun's Twilight, though. And, uh, well, I mean, hopefully he's not going to have more counter spells or anything here. Kind of a sus situation to be in, but I think we can win. I think we can win. Maybe. Do I block this? I don't think... Wait, no, I do block this because what's the point? Yeah, I definitely block this. Oh, wow, a sun's fall. That is very... Oh! So, you're just. That just gave me the information. Oh, Scry 1, what a time to be alive. Okay. So, this, uh, the fact that he just ignores the, uh, the sun, uh, sun's fault means that, yeah, he just has another farewell, obviously, in hand. Which is arguably not great. Yeah, arguably not great indeed. Now, I could do this. Well, I am doing this. Nine is pretty awkward, but I honestly don't think there's a good chance that we're gonna win this. Because he has a, a, another a farewell in hand, or at the bare minimum, another depopulate in hand. So he doesn't really care. Or, you know. Okay, by the way, how do you know this is a forced loss? Because. Believe it or not, having like 20 vrats is actually really, really stupid. Because vrats don't actually typically work out against aggro. Because red aggro, well, they work out against some forms of aggro. But the thing is, this is why vrats don't work out. Because they cost typically 4 to X amount of mana. And that means that you're gonna vrat and you're not gonna do anything after that. Which means... The next turn, your opponent plays another card, and you need to Vrat again. It's not actually a good economy, believe it or not. And, you know, if you can't play any uh, a follow-up, that just means your opponent is taking the advantage. Yeah, much for filming life was expected, but that's honestly fine at this point. You know, st uh, stuff like that. It's pretty easy. And, you know... Uh, red, for example, is gonna burn your face, and they have haste creatures, and vrats are not instant. The only instant rat we have is Sidaldine Wreckage, and that's in Historic. So, you know, vrats, ironically, not actually good against aggro, if you mass vrats, that is. Uh, the reason vrats... Oh, by the way, a lot of people don't know this, but the reason why vrats are good against aggro, why you want them, though... Is because this is how you're supposed to win aggro. This is like the mathematical uh, thing how you win aggro. Aggro uses three cards. You use one card. AKA, they use three cards. You used one. You have a two card advantage on them. And then you can exchange for them. And that kind of... Uh, well, not kind of. That fully makes uh, makes the, makes you... Uh, makes you uh, creates an opening where you play the value card. 
and, you know, gain advantage over them. That's how it's supposed to work. Uh, but if you're playing full Vrats, you just lose against aggro so often because you don't have the value. You don't have the value, you don't have the sauce, you don't have the shabazzle. It's a lost cause, boys. Don't tell me you're gonna... Uh, yeah, wow. Man, this guy's special on every level, huh? Well, I would also love to get uh, a government paycheck every now and then. Oh, look at that! It's the card that everyone hates because it's stupid. <sighs> what a shit show! <laughs> hey, he played Farewell, boys. I think this is fair. Because Farewell is the ultimate skill card. Am I salty? Nah, not too much, honestly. We're playing the same level of stupidity here. But I enjoy playing the same level of stupidity and winning. So maybe, maybe slightly. In any case, Jay Salvatore. Man, this is so bad. <laughs> okay, ooh, a farmhand. By the way, our draws also are, by the way, un unquestionably terrible. Because we're gaining... We're getting none of the big stuff. We're currently just getting lands and our cheapest denominators, which is not good. Which is, yeah, pretty not good. Our only big draws have been... Wait, did he actually get rid of two? Oh, yeah, he did. So it was a Chimel and Pyrexian portal. Well, actually, that's almost half of our big draws to a degree. Oh, uh, but, you know, still. Not even close, huh? Get lost, just like that. Oof. I mean, he's definitely winning. I think we're throwing in the towel, boys. There's no winning this one. It happens. Anyway, close game. Close game. 